Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. Uh, I'm Rex. I'm Daniel. It's Monday. It's Monday. Are Mondays bourbon days? Yeah, they, they, they may be. They may feel like I've never good. followed that trajectory. Mondays feel kind of bourbon-y to me. <laughs> Why? Because bourbon. Because mm, you need to punch up and get your week started. Mm. We were sent a gift whiskey from the distillery, which I think we have to fully disclose. Sure, because we're because it's a thing. We're journalists. We'll maintain journalistic standards. Yeah, because that's what we're known for. Um, this is from Two Bar Spirits in Seattle, Washington, mm -hmm. and this is thanks to Nathan Kaiser, Ann Frias, and Maddie Kelly. Okay, Nathan. And, and Maddie, you magnificent bastard. <laughs> two grain is uh, in Seattle. Did two, you know wait, that wait, the, wait, so wait, Nathan wait. is the owner. You said two grain, it's just two, two bar. Two bar. Two bar. I said two grain. Yeah. Two bar. I got your back. So here's our note. So Ann reached out and said, can we send you guys some whiskey? We love your show, right? I said, yeah, we, uh, again, well, we can't promise we'll like it. Yeah. <laughs> And she said, be honest. And I'm like, okay. Everybody says, be honest. We are so honest. excited to send a bottle of the two bar straight bourbon for the whiskey vault. Yay. Blah, 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 blah. I hope you like it. Here's some information. So, um, Nathan Kaiser is a Texan family. You ever heard of Kaiser Ranch down in South? Yeah. South of us? Sure. Yeah. yeah, it's that family. Oh, nice. It's like five or six generations of Texas ranchers. Mm -hmm. and Nathan moved up to Seattle and opened a distillery in 2010. Yeah. Um, Ann Frias is the rep. Maddie Kelly is the distiller. Okay. So another female distiller, just like Deb and many other amazing females kicking ass in whiskey. Right. Why are you doing that? I feel like I'm a Craig Ferguson. All right, so this is corn, no rye, okay. no rye, followed by a combination of four types of barley. Four types of barley. And wheat. Mm, smells nice. Six different grains total. Okay. That's hardcore. Yeah. Right? I think this one. What, what was the age on this? At least two years. Okay. Two years, and then where did you say it was distilled? Seattle. Seattle. And they're sourcing everything from Northwest. They're they're doing Northwest terroir. Oh, yeah, this, uh, this smells. Just, I'm not getting any of the um, the thing you often get from craft distillers, where you get the green raw wooded things. So 30 gallon barrels. So Charred new small, new American oats. Small, right? it's like small barrels. Small, smaller. Ish. Not as small as the tens small and the fives, ish. but small-ish and um, hundred proof. So this, you know, if honey, apple, once this caramel. gets of age, this could be a bottled and bond bourbon. Honey, apple, caramel, just a tiny, just a tiny trace of vanilla sitting on top. Dude, this is an Irish whiskey. No. Smell that. No. Smell that if I said pot still Irish whiskey. I got mine. Yeah, but you may have jacked with yours. Here. <laughs> Not okay. Smell yours. No, give me yours. Pot still. No, no, no. I take it back. Give me yours. <laughs> You say whiskey <laughs> kills germs. <laughs> Pot still Irish whiskey. Damn it. Yeah. <laughs> now there's things in there that aren't Irish. No, but the, the buttery note. But you're used, yeah. The dominant character of a pot still Irish whiskey is a part of yeah. the nose. Yeah, yeah. That's weird, isn't it? So we need to compare this to an Irish. Uh but man, the oak is. Tom, the oak is strong yeah, too. I'm not getting strong oak on the nose. I'm getting more honey and apple and something. What's on my neck? What are you doing? Get that shit out. <laughs> uh, oh. Is it cinnamon you're getting? Brown sugar on the taste. Oh, I haven't tasted it yet. Brown sugar for days. You know, a little bit more. This is a little bit more right there. A little bit more. Ooh, interesting. Now it tastes more like. A craft bourbon. Yeah, but on the nose it was Irish. That was weird. That was a weird split. Yeah, there's that sort of biscuity shortbread note mixed into the oak and, the, and mixed into the corn, mixed into the... I wonder if it's just coming from I'm getting, uh, the barley heavy. The oak and the apple. The oak and the apple. What got, yeah, but it's a red apple, not... Yeah, I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit. Tanisha, Tanisha. So I walk into my kitchen and there's a toaster strudel sitting on my stove. I'm like, hey, that's weird. I pick up the box and there's no toaster strudels inside. Just a lonesome Hot Pocket. <laughs> I go to put it in the freezer, but I see a Hot Pockets box and a glass of whiskey in there. I open the Hot Pockets box and there's 
There's the toaster strudels. <laughs> I leave them in the wrong boxes and take the whiskey. The end. <laughs> You're so drunk right now. <laughs> I should finish that. <laughs> Now this is a true story and I haven't slept in 36 hours. So yeah. I'm not, so I'm not exactly sure how it happened, but I believe it's a sign from the whiskey gods that the next pairing challenge should be whiskey and hot pockets. <laughs> Dude, I'm uh, game for a hot pocket. So the trick with hot Dude, I have not had a hot pocket since high school. Uh, probably college for me. The I like the, the pepperoni ones. The trick with no, the ham and cheese. Oh, I never had ham and cheese. <laughs> no, this feels like... I'm sure this seems like we... <laughs> It seems like here they go again. No, we Another did, debate. This we just didn't, happened. We didn't manufacture this. The pepperoni were too greasy. Really? Entirely too greasy. Yeah. Uh, it, it's just the. Kind of liked that. No, the ham and cheese, that's where it's at. Suitable for breakfast or lunch. Oh, yeah. Okay, so no, no debate. No debate. No debate. All right. I agree. All right. There, I, I keep coming back to the nose because I really love the nose on this glass. This is a rich. I am going to open it up a little. This is not thin. This is a rich. Uh, this is a rich sweetness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, I'm used to a younger craft bourbon feeling a little brittle to me. Mm -hmm. And to me, bourbon, like I've said this before, but bourbon often presents as a musician would speak into a really big low end and a really bright high end. Baby got back. And no mids. Mm -hmm. It just, it goes rich, thin, and then bright and sparkly. So it goes bop, bop, badow. <laughs> Bop, bop, but yeah, it's yeah, it is a, yeah. it is a measurement. Yeah, it is. Yeah, that's science. Uh, yeah. This, this two bar whiskey. It's bop, bop, but now <laughs> <laughs> we figured out your bars. Yeah. Uh, no, but the nose has a mid range that's really rich, mm -hmm. but the taste it goes back to being a uh, bourbon. What do you want to compare this to? I was trying to decide. Mm-hmm. Ooh, I got a little minty finish on that one. Just a second. What? Yeah, a little kind of a chocolatey note. A little minty finish? Yeah. Don't take my... God damn it. <laughs> they didn't even give us the full thing. We, we can't take my whiskey. All right. Um, uh, are there any good bars in Florida for whiskey, says Bianca Lopez. Oh, how about all of you guys watching suggest good bars for Florida. whiskey? Florida. Florida viewers, if you're, in, uh, if you're into whiskey, what whiskey bars do you suggest in your area. All right, so, Rex, I just had this genius idea that I just came up with just now. Oh, good. All on my own. I'm so glad. Why don't we compare, yeah. oh, I sealed this one off. Why don't we compare yeah. our craft uh, straight bourbon yep. to a uh, Four Roses single barrel? I agree with that totally unprompted suggestion, Daniel. Yes, it's a good thing I just thought of it. On the nose, the two bar is a little bit more rich and robust. Yeah, there's more complexity. There's also more of that shortbread note. Mm -hmm. Four Roses goes straight to, for me, molasses. That more dark, yeah. dark sweetness mm -hmm. instead of a honeyed sweetness. It does have a more lively. Ooh, there's pepper. More light. Well, to me, it presented as like a cinnamon, a bitey cinnamon apple. Yeah. Bitey cinnamon apple. Yeah, that that single barrel sort of just jumps out on the what's, palate. What's, yeah, no, it jumps it's, out. Uh, what's the proof on that? 50. Those are the same. Oh, yeah. Exact same proof. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, man, these are between the two. I think I prefer the two bar. I think I prefer bar. the two bar. No, not that the Four Roses is bad. I dug the Four Roses. I actually really like Four. Actually, yeah. Uh, but the two bar seems a little bit more rich and yeah. vibrant, and a little bit more complex. Yep, mm. now, I agree. Now the a little bit, a little bit, just a little bit more notes. <laughs> We're just. Did you know that they have a dog at the distillery named Galt? Galt. Galt. Didn't we say that was cousin to the? I thought that was a recent episode. There was some version of that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> With a cat named <laughs> <laughs> Which would be an amazing cat name. Gun <laughs> and Galt. You know what? Maybe we start a pub. <laughs> the crew, the Galt. Which yeah. sounds better? I'll tell you what. The Galt and Galt. We're going to open a pub in Seattle. We're going to call it the Galt and Galt. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I think we just promoted the ability of Two Bar to use this video. Then we pretend like we're foreign and it's like a word from our native tongue. And like, what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm too tired. I'm getting punch drunk. Uh, all right. Uh, okay, I can say that it has not converted me to preferring bourbon over scotch. Because I still like scotch. And the Art Big 21 kicks ass. No, but, but as far as bourbons, yep. and remember, I'm a scotch guy. As far as bourbons go, damn good. I like the complexity of this. There is, it is, a, it is young, and you can tell, but it's not... It's not young and then it feels immature or like it hasn't achieved anything. Right. It's, you know what that reminds me of? You remember um, one of the best movies ever, Bottle Rocket? Oh, that's a good movie. The first Wilson Brothers movie. Yeah. And, and uh, Luke Wilson is going to pick up his little sister. Mm -hmm. And she's like, I can't keep hanging out with you. My friends say you're a loser. And he's like, what? What, what have they ever done with their lives that's so great? <laughs> <laughs> and they're like eight year olds. <laughs> and that's what I think. It's not so young that it's not done anything great with its life. Uh, no, it's got, it's got complexity. For Honestly, you. I think in eight years that would turn into something amazing. Who knows, man? That I don't know what the temperature with the climate allows up there. Cold? You may need climate controlled for the winters and aging up there. Mm. All right, here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. You fight, may you fight for a <laughs> Really? You're gonna ruin the toast? That's like the sacred part of the show. You shit on the toast so often. No, I don't. You just let it fall flat on the floor. No. If you fight me, fight for free. If you stay with the other If you drink, may you drink may directly you off of Daniel Grunch. Oh, God. <laughs> hey, thanks for hanging out with us in the Whiskey Vault. Don't forget to throw in a like, hit that subscribe button on the bottom right, drop a question or comment down below.